So here's a quick update on the, so you want to put a C6 in your early galaxy. Since we had the wildfires up in Oregon, haven't had much time to do a little bit of anything. And so what I did was I went and ordered the Kreitz C6 swap kit. And I gotta say it was really nice. They had it in stock. Uh, they, they were really, really nice people to deal with. And they sent the part up via FedEx, uh, whatever their ground equipment is, or ground equivalent, excuse me. So I did end up getting it. It came uh, bare finish. Uh, so I ended up painting it and you know letting it dry and everything. But yeah, it's a real simple design. And I guess people have been using this forever and a day. So um, this is just my image of it. So I know some people out there you know, look these things up and you really can't find any type of documentation on it or what it would even looks like. So I just wanted to kind of post with, you know, it, it installed right now, still finishing up. I've got a new shifter cable that we're routing, um, going to a TCI shifter. So just got to finish that up. This is the B&M pan. So if you're considering doing it, as opposed to fabbing, welding, and you know, all that time that you may or may not have, this may be the lesser of two evils. And I think it, at this time it was like 225 uh, bucks, uh, of course, here in the year of 2020. Uh, with shipping to my door, it came out to like 295, something like that. But anyways, just wanted to kind of show you this. And uh, the only thing I, I would want to say is that when it comes to routing the parking brake cable, that you're gonna have to figure out because the assembly itself and the cable, I don't know if it's just the way it's routed, it's not coming all the way through. So I'm just gonna have to check the route on that and then try to get that hooked up. But I do like the fact that it has the uh, parking brake cable um, adjustment there as far as being where you can put the slack bar and all that. So it is there, but like I said, uh, other than that, it looks like it's uh, pretty much uh, a simple install. So if you're just in uh, just bolting and just going, um, everything I've heard about it so far is that sometimes with the uh, locations of the bolt holes, they could be a little bit off. This one was off just like about, not even a, an eighth of an inch. So we just ran a fucking, actually we ran a drill through it, pardon the partial F there, and it lined up perfectly. But other than that, really no major you know work to it other than a little bit of painting and the whole nine yards. But again, highly recommend it. It did come with the... Uh, correct transmission uh, isolator or the rear tranny mount or, or motor mount, whatever they call it. Uh, it's an anchor product. I want to say it's an anchor 2253. So, as far as if you need to get a replacement of it, they've made these like millions of these things in the secondary market and get it anywhere from like $15 and up. But like I said, it comes with it. So, pretty much a simple, you know, bolt in and, you know, uses a modern part as opposed to the old school uh, mount that they used to have that wrapped around the old cross member and that this is something much more modern and still maintains the proper mounting and of course as you can see I got the factory drive shaft in place part in a rancid old 1970s glass pack but pretty much uh, just a little bit of work to get it back up on the road and I'm running but uh, rounded the corner in that so like I said just a quick update Sorry about any delays, and you know, thank you for your patience. Have a great day, nice weekend.